Hi, John Capobianco here. What we're going to be exploring today, we're going to be revisiting agents, AI agents. I believe AI agents are going to be the future in 2025 and moving forward. Basic API calls to an AI, AI 1.0, retrieval augmented generation, raptor trees, graph rag, retrieval augmented approaches, AI 1.5. Agents, Agentic AI, AI 2.0. So, the important thing here is that I wanted to see if I could recreate what I had done with ChatGPT as my LLM, except with Olama and Llama 3.1 from Meta open source models locally. Free, private, secure, local on my RTX 2060 with a variety of tools. Don't worry about that. I've had great success with these AI agents in the cloud with ChatGPT. CRUD activities, as it's known in the industry, create, read, update, delete. These agents can do these things with API calls that it does totally autonomously. So I found some stuff and I've made some progress and have success. I have success on the screen. We're gonna look at this and try some more calls, but free, local, private, secure, using Olama, Llama 3.1, Agentic AI. All right, check this out. So where I wanna start is in the Olama tool support. So this was added in July. I'm not saying this is super bleeding edge, um, it is still rather bleeding edge stuff though. And right, Olama now supports tool calling with popular models such as Llama 3.1. Given prompt using tools it knows about making it possible to perform more complex tasks or interact with the outside world. And they give some examples here. Here is the code where we're going to include tools along with our message. Right, so in their hello world here, they have a, what's the weather in Toronto as the message prompt. And the tool is going to be a get weather function that it calls from the web. And it lists some supported models, Llama 3.1 being one of them. Um, now, let's give this a shot. So I'm going to show you some examples here. What I want to show you is a working example. So this is the Netbox dev, the, the demo Netbox dev environment. And as you can see, there are 32 circuits, right? There's 32 of these circuits. And I asked the question, how many circuits do I have? And the AI agent using Llama 3.1 and Olama locally came up with the correct answer. And if we look into the logs, let me crank up the view a little bit here. Um, right, here's me building my two containers. I have my codes container and the llama container, Olama container, where I pull llama 3.1, a 4.9 gigabit in disk space, and I believe it's a 7 billion parameter model, maybe 8.3 billion parameters. It loads into the, my GPU. And then you're going to see a bunch of API generate post. Okay, so these are my tools that the AIs decided to try to post and generate against and it keeps iterating until it comes to that final answer of how many circuits do I have. Now, if I show you the code very quickly um, for my Netbox React agent, it's not a lot different than my original code. I can't do a side by side. I still have an input template. I'm still doing a react sort of approach where there's the thought, the action, the action input, the observation and the final answer. But we've adjusted the prompt and then all of my tool descriptions. So it doesn't use the at tool decorator uh, like I was using before. So I have two different branches here, my Olama branch and my main branch. My main branch is still going to use ChatGPT. 
uh, OpenAI, right? But if we switch to the Olama branch, it's all going to be free and local. So if you get clone this repository, you can change to the Olama branch and everything will just work. You should have this nice AI agent. So let's go find something else that's factual here. There are 10 providers. Okay, and providers are under circuits, I believe. And it should know how to find out how many providers we have. So let's do this side by side. And let's take a look at the logs and see what happens and see if it comes to the correct conclusion. How many providers do I have? And you can see it's, uh, it's loaded it up into memory. Yeah, 8.03 billion parameters in the model at 4.5 gig. And we're going to start to see some API generates. You can see all these API generates happening. Now, again, this doesn't cost me any money anymore. And it's actually thinking a little bit here. You have 10 circuits in that box, so that's not correct, right? How many circuits do we actually have? 10, yeah, so that's correct. But we're still waiting for it to come back with the answer. So there was actually 10 circuits. It did come to the correct information. Um, it looks like it did make the correct API call for circuits, or for providers, rather. So here is the full action. Well, I don't know. It should come to the correct answer. It's making the right API call here. Ah, it's fun to see how this... Let's see if this... Is, it's just going to keep iterating and hopefully it will come to the correct answer. It did have the answer. We saw it in the logs up here. Um, that there's 10 right here. You have 10 circuits in NetBox. It should have stopped there. So let's add a little bit to our prompt. Um, I've seen this happen before will it, where it will just keep going. So back here in our prompt, in our template, somewhere in the code, we can adjust that here, here. You know, and say when you have enough details stop iterating or something like that. I'm going to let this just finish just another cycle or two and see if we get to the correct answer. Okay, you have 10 circuits providers. It's ambiguous, but it did come to that correct answer. Now, I did add some uh, adjustment in the template to come to a final conclusion. Now let's try to do something else. So what we're going to do is in NetBox, we're going to go under circuits, providers, and if we actually add one, we need a slug and a name. So if we're going to go back to that providers, I don't think Bell Canada is one of them. So let's, okay, some pretty big changes and breakthroughs. Um, I struggled to get cr full CRUD activities, especially the create. I struggled with Llama 3.1. I tried multiple different attempts and prompts and code and different approaches. I simply couldn't get it to create a new provider called Bell Canada. However, 24 hours is a lot of time in the world of artificial intelligence. Olama just came out with a new Cohere model that does tool calling. As soon as I switched models, my tool calling code started to work and I was able to post, meaning create, a provider. So I didn't really adjust very much other than the model. So let's take a look at this real quick. I have the working example up on the screen. We're going to explore this a little bit. Okay, so there's quite a bit on the screen. 
In the bottom left is the Netbox community, and now you can see there's a Bell Canada provider. Okay, and if we click on this, it should have a slug of Bell somewhere wherever the slug information is. Anyhow, change log, we can see that Bell Canada was created, and it should have a slug of Bell. So, how did this happen? In the top left, I have my agent interface, and I said, could you please create a new provider called Bell Canada with a slug of Bell? It finally answered the provider Bell has successfully been created. Now forget about this network access control list. Don't worry about that. A little bit of a hallucination. However, if we look in the logs, we can see that it enters the agent executor chain. I need to create a new provider with the net in that box with the name of Bell Canada and a slug of Bell. That's the thought. The action is to call the create netbox data tool with the action input of the correct API call. We can see we got a 200 status request code back and it actually created this provider. Okay, just through the agent. All right, now the only thing that I changed was if we go to the models. I replaced Llama 3.1 with Command RB7. All right, so this is Command RB7, and let's go look it up on Olama together. We're going to go to Olama, and we're going to go to the models, and we're going to look up Command. So this is Command R7B right here which is the smallest model in Cohere's R series, delivers top tier speed, efficiency, and quality to build powerful AI applications on top of commodity GPUs and edge devices. It's 8.03 billion parameters and 5.1 gigabits in size. Now, if we quickly hop on my Twitter and go to my profile here, we're going to see that I found out this from this Olama post. So there's an Olama run, Command 7B, smallest and coheres Command R series of models, and use of tool, tool use tasks. That was the key for me, is that this supports tool calling. So we can see Bell Canada there. Let's get a couple of things open and, and up side by side and get to the bottom of the logs. And let's try to delete. Can you please delete the provider? And let's put it in quotes, Bell Canada, to complete the CRUD activities. We know we can read data. How many circuits do I have? How many providers do I have, etc. Can we do full CRUD activities? Now this will be the I did it. It deleted. All right, very cool. Bell Canada's gone. We can see the delete to the circuit provider. I've added some verbosity here. So yeah, this all worked just fine. So full crowd activities. All right.